Hey Fragheads and Fragrance Lovers, welcome back. It's Benjamin here at the Sintatar Fragrance Channel coming back at you with another fragrance review. So today it's all about Velvet Desert Oud by Dolce Gabbana, but this is a clone. This is a alternative. Now, if you haven't smelled the original Desert Velvet Oud, uh, I would encourage you to if you love Tuscan leather-like fragrances. It's a very beautiful, interesting, and dynamic, spicy, leathery fragrance. It's very well done, but it's clear to see that Velvet uh, Desert Velvet Oud was clearly inspired by the popularity, and there's a number of other fragrances that are also inspired out there by Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford. But this one is very nice. Let me tell you all about it. Now, first off, um, this one is nice. It, it smells nice. It, uh, it smells like good quality. I was very surprised by this one. I gave uh, the Velvet Patchouli uh, quite a mixed or even negative review and this is from the same clone house they are linked below I don't get anything in return for any sales but they did send this to me uh, and I think that this one is a nice fragrance for certain people um, this one has a lighter kind of tone to me it smells more like the opening of desert velvet oud and it really captures the smell of the opening and that's what you get for the majority of this clone now the original is deeper, it's darker, and it has a lot more, uh, it's a lot more dynamic in its composition. It transitions a lot more from the opening to the mid and the mid to the dry down. Uh, this one just captures the opening. It doesn't really change a whole lot, but it does capture the fresh aspects of the opening in a beautiful way. And I do enjoy that about this fragrance. I thought the opening perhaps was the best part of, you know, Desert Velvet Oud. And uh, I really do like that they captured that smell. I actually really enjoy that they captured uh, that f the fresher, spicier aspect of the opening that really draws you into that fragrance. Uh, now, I do have to say that this fragrance is not going to be for everybody. Uh, you know, again, this is a, it's not an intense leather. I don't consider this scary, but it is kind of a mid-weight spicy fragrance and a mid-weight leathery fragrance. So, uh particularly spicy and particularly leathery fragrances aren't going to be for everybody it also has that desert feel so it's a little bit dry in its quality and its feel so this is a little bit more unusual but again this is a little bit more likable and it because it's a little bit more linear it's uh you know a little bit easier for the average person maybe to understand uh you know a lot of people like fragrances or might feel safer with fragrances that don't change dramatically uh, as time goes on so it's an enjoyable fragrance. I really like it, but even though I think it's more mass appealing than the original, I, I still think it's a little bit daring to suggest to the average person out there, but it is nice. Uh, performance wise, I get about seven hours or so, uh, which, which is not bad at all. Projection wise, it's more on the average side of things, but the sillage is decent. So overall, it's a decent performer. It's not amazing. It's not bad at all. I mentioned the compliment factor. I think the smell is gorgeous. I think that if you want something oud wood like by Tom Ford, Tuscan, Tuscan leather esque like Tom Ford, if you like those kinds of fragrances and you just want a small amount of it, this uh, I'll, I'll jump into the price later on. But I think that this is a good way to go, um, and also that also compliment factor wise because it can be layered with other scents. Uh, especially leathery scents to add a more spicy leathery kind of top to a fragrance that's what i like doing with this fragrance i did wear it as its own individual standalone fragrance a number of times around people um i don't know if i don't think it polarized anybody like tuscan leather i don't think it was offensive to anybody but it did boost my mood it did boost how i feel or felt about myself and i do think that people appreciated that um, i do think it's going to smell a little bit classy and a little bit may I, I use the word gentlemanly out there, uh, but this uh, to me smells a little bit, instead, when I think of a gentleman, I think more of an English gentleman, laid back, reserved, soft-spoken, kind. Um, but this is more of like a gentleman who's a little bit more of a wild guy, maybe maybe a Texan gentleman. Uh, you know, maybe he doesn't speak that much, but when he speaks, he makes a bold statement. He may, to, he may uh, you know, shock some people. He might, uh, you know, be a little bit polarizing. Um, this kind of fragrance to me is definitely a little bit more rugged of a gentleman's fragrance, but I do like it. So take it as you will. But I, I actually really like this fragrance. I, it gets grown on me, and I don't know why. Uh, so my final thoughts and the price, you can get one of these. 
I think they're 20 odd mils for 40 odd dollars. The price isn't great. Uh, you don't know, you, it's, especially when this is a clone and with the performance being maybe slightly above average, it's not fantastic performance. Um, I do wish that maybe the, the notes were a little bit darker. Uh, you know, in the dry down, the, to me, Desert Velvet Oud does become a little bit of a darker scent. And that's missing from this. But it, again, it makes it interesting that it's perfect for layering. That's what I think that this fragrance is perfect for. Maybe you want your Tuscan leather to be a little bit fresher off the top. You could definitely layer this. Maybe you have ombre leather and you want to mix it up a little bit. Or any other type of leathery fragrance. Maybe you just want to you know, have a, a more inoffensive, a little bit of a safer spicy leathery scent. I think that this could, is a, definitely a little bit more on the safe side. Easier to wear. Not as polarizing, not as intense, not as strong. Uh, so if you love those leathery, spicy, intense scents, I think that maybe you could get away with this at the office. So I think that that is what this uh, fragrance shines. If you were looking for an exact clone of the original, it's not as, uh, it's not as dynamic, it's not as high quality, it's not as dark, it's not as rich. Uh, this is missing a lot of maybe the beauty of the original to some people out there. But... Um, I, I do think that this is a successful fragrance, and I do recommend this for some people out there. If you're a leather fragrance lover on a budget, if you are, live in a state or a country where it's very hard to get Desert Velvet Oud, and maybe you just like the fresher fragrances, or you know you don't like the darkest or most intense leather fragrances anyways, I think that this might be a good way to go. So again, I gave the Velvet Patchouli kind of a no-go, but I'm going to give this one the green light. If this sounds interesting to you, if you love spice and if you like leather, I think that this is definitely worth a try. So give this some, they give this guy a chance. He's an upcoming brand. He's trying to make his own little house, make his own little way. This again was sent to me for review. Check out the website down below. I don't get anything in return. I don't get any kickback or anything uh, for a sale or anything like that. So this one's nice. This one's interesting, and um, I, I definitely think that this one is worth, uh, worth a sniff if, uh, if you're so inclined. So I'll see you next time, my friends. Thank you so much for watching my channel and stopping by. I hope that I shared another beautiful, interesting little fragrance with you all. And if you did like my channel, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, and even tell a friend about this channel. When you do hit that notification bell, please hit all notifications. So I'll see you next time, my friends. Wear what you love, rock what you got, and it's a pretty little fragrance. And I'll see you next time, my friends, and bye.